Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Tuesday, guys. I have a small Dollar Tree haul here. Um, I have quite a few things, but it's not huge. Like I said, I'm just trying to pick up things that I need right now and find, seeing if they have anything new and exciting at the Dollar Tree. But this is a busy, busy week, as you all know. Um, trying to get things ready for the holidays now. So I'm going to show you here my quick little Dollar Tree haul. So the first thing I got, I got two more bags of these yummy, yummy um, drizzled popcorn. It's black and white sugar cookie, it's called. Um, they only seem to have these around the holidays, and these things are so, so good. So if you haven't tried them, you got to try them. They have a different one, too. I can't remember it right offhand right now, but um, this one I really, really love. So I got two more bags of those. You know, there's not a ton of them in here. It's like 15 ounces, but oh, they are so good. I did pick up two more Christmas trees because I used two yesterday, actually, to do my um, centerpiece DIY that I did. These are just the the small trees and I do want to make a tree for in here in my craft room to make it a little festive for the holiday um, so I'm gonna actually I think use four of these to make one fluffy tree I'll show you guys that video it'll just be a quick little thing um, because I have made them before but I'm gonna do it a little bit different this time because you know you make one one time you learn <laughs> a better way to do it for the next time so I just grabbed two more of those trees they're getting slim pickings too so if you want any of these little trees you better get them as soon as you can. Um, now I picked up um, some more of these little wire garlands. I love these. I get these every year. Um, sometimes you get lucky after Christmas and they have these two for a dollar, which I picked up a bunch of them last year too. But I use these a lot to do DIYs. You could always use these too to do that uh, centerpiece I did yesterday too. These would probably work great. And I like these because they have like the little bit of, of brown in them. They're not just, I don't know if you can see that. Let me find a good spot. There's like a little bit of brown in it. So it's not just all like a, you know, just a green pine thing. And then I did pick up another pack of these wooden stickers. I love these. You can paint these. You can do whatever you want with these. Use them in cards. You know, any kind of DIY projects you got going on. You get, what do we got here, 12, you get four snowflakes, four stars, and four of the little um, Christmas trees. So these are, I'm trying to find the best place without the glare. Between the windows and my lights, it's really hard. There we go. But these are really, really nice. I like those uh, little wooden stickers. I did pick up another pack of the foam gingerbread men. I really wanted to do a lot of stuff with gingerbread this year, gingerbread men. But I don't know if I'm going to get to them all. I do want to get a few done, but I did pick up another pack of these. You get 12 in here. They're just the foam sheets, um, but they're fun to decorate and add to your decor, too. So I hope I can get to these. I really, really do. Um, I did grab another one of these sets of these um, snowflake ornaments. I love these. These are fun to add to your little projects and things you get. What do you get on here? Two, six of them. And they're all connected on a little wire thing, or um, a plastic cord that you could hang them as, you know, an ornament for the mini trees. But I use these, you know, just in other projects. I don't put them on the tree usually. I made this year since I'm doing my little tree. I did grab a set of these. These are just cute. You don't have to use these as a necklace either. These are those little light bulbs. They light up. They're really cute. Um... It's called an LED light-up necklace, and you get six little, of the, like, the old-fashioned Christmas bulbs on there. And, um, yeah, these are really cute. So I did get a set of those. They do flash, so if you don't like the flashing light, it says six flashing LEDs. I wish they'd stop doing the flashing light. I don't mind if they blink a little bit, but that flashing is annoying. But I just want the bulbs for some DIYing. And then I picked up another pack of these um, icicle lights. Uh, is that what they're calling them? Yep, five LED icicles that you add the two AA batteries to. These are pretty cool. They're very pretty when they're lit up. You can see they're in the picture, if I can get it not glare from the window now. There we go. But yeah, these are really pretty when they're lit up. So I did grab another set of those. They had all their lights out and everything now. Um, I picked up another pack of the trees. 
You get three of these in a pack, different sizes. Well, I guess the two smaller ones are pretty much the same size. They have a little bit of the snow on them and stuff. You guys know they have these every year. But these are great to decorate with. Um, I love them. I've used so many of those little trees. And then I did pick up one sign just because I thought he was so darn cute. Well, let me pick off some of the glue on his face. But it just says, let it snow on the top. And it's just this little snowman. And he's got a little scarf. Hey, cute. I just loved his little face. I thought he was so sweet. I didn't haven't picked up a lot of the Christmas signs just because I have so many. You know, every year they seem to come out with um, some more pretty pretty signs and then it just has like a um, sheer ribbon to hang him with and these would be great to put on a wreath or something too he's a really nice size so yep yeah, I thought he was adorable so I got him um, let's see oh I did pick up another one of these because I don't think I have the green this is that 3d fabric paint it's kind of like a puffy paint you can find in the crafter square section and these are fun to do with you know some DIYs too um, they're made for fabric but you can use it on anything I use it on wood I've used it on some of those ceramic uh, little ornaments that they have and trees and things and you can use this stuff on anything it gives it a little bit of a puffy effect to it but this one is the green I think I, have, I don't know I hope I got the right one yes because I got the red before and I also have the white. The green is the only one. I'm going to pop that out of there so I can put it right away and not even... Oh yeah, that doesn't come out of there that easy, does it? Oh, there we go. And add that to my Christmas puffy paints. Put them back here in my little cabinet. Look at that. I actually got something put away right away. <laughs> I did grab two more packs of the glue sticks. Because for some reason, these come and go at Dollar Tree now. Um... There was like, I want to say, two or three months where they had no glue sticks out at all. And I love these. I use these all the time. Everybody always asks me what kind of hot glue I use, whether it's Gorilla Glue or whatever. But no, you know what? I really like these Dollar Tree glue sticks. So, and you get 20 of them in here. So it's a good price for them, too. So I grabbed two more of those while they're still out. Now, this thing I thought was really cool. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. I have never seen it before. And this is a paint and water cup. This would be so, so handy. Like if you're doing a little painting, little ornaments or things like that, you can put some of your paints down in here, have your water in here. Just, you know, when you're done, you can just, you know, stick your brush in there until you're ready to wash it out. Yeah, I thought this was really a clever idea. I've never seen these before at my Dollar Tree. I'm sure they've probably been out. A lot of things I'm seeing for the first time, people are telling me, oh, I got that last year. But you know how different Dollar Trees are, and, you know, sometimes you don't see things for a year after somebody else does. But I thought this was really a great idea. You know, I can just have this right here on my craft table, and, you know, just stick my different colored paints in there. I'm really excited about that little thing. And I did pick up two more candle holders. Now, these were new. I've never seen this shape of them before. I thought those were really pretty. They almost look like a salt shaker. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of at first. But it's a little candle holder. And you could paint these. I want to see. It is hollow on the bottom. Oh, so you could actually... Oh, uh, yeah, there is a space down in here. You could actually use it this way, too, if you wanted to. Hmm. That's interesting. I'll find something to do with these little guys. So I just grabbed two of them because I just, and they're really um, a real thick glass. So they're a really heavy duty thing. You could use this maybe to put something even on top of it, like a little riser kind of thing. But yeah, I haven't seen, I'm trying to get this label unstuck from my finger here. Hang on. Oh, I do have another Christmas item. I actually have a couple more. I thought I had them all out of here. I picked up another of the wooden stars. I like to pick these up now because you can also use these throughout the year for like um, 4th of July, Memorial Day, anything in the summer too works great. So yeah, and they only seem to have these out this time of the year, this with 14 in a pack. So that's a pretty good deal. It has the nice dark edges from being laser cut. So I did grab another pack of those. And then I grabbed this little mold here. Well, it's actually an ice cube tray, they're calling it. I want to use it for like a mold, and hopefully the things will come out of there nicely. But look at the cute little penguins. 
Aren't they sweet? They got little scarves on and hats and earmuffs and, and all kinds of things. And I thought that was really cute. And then, you know, you could make little ice cube things. You could probably put like chocolates in here, make candies out of these. Um, that's what I'm thinking, something like that. Or even like some wax or wax melts and make little cute wax melt, you know, to give out for the holidays. That's always a fun thing to do. So I did grab that. And then this I picked up. This isn't actually Christmas, but this was back in with the party section, the party stuff. Um, it's just these two little scoops. And um, I just thought these, let me take these out of here. There's so much glare. Is this going to open nice or do I have to? Yeah, there we go. Let me pull that out of the noisy thing. Yeah, it just has these two nice little red scoopers. And I thought these would be fun, you know, for the flour, sugar, and things to scoop out. Um, well, you're making your Christmas cookies. They're just very festive. Nice little red scoopers. So I did get that set of those. Um, I don't think it says on here what each one measurement is. No, it does not. It just says two plastic scoops, and that's pretty much the gist. Not recommended for use in the microwave and dishwasher. All right, so you're going to have to hand wash these and don't stick them in the microwave. Not a big deal. <laughs> Um, and I also did, I forgot, these were down in there. Another jar of the jalapeno slices that my husband loves. The Beckenridge, because he tried that Pampera brand that they had for a while. I haven't seen that in a while. He said those were actually awful. But he loves this Beckenridge brand. It's 11.5 ounces of the jalapeno peppers, which anybody that watches my channel knows he eats these on pretty much anything except like desserts. <laughs> But he, and I'm not even kidding, pretty much everything. Oh, and I did pick up another one of these little packs. Uh, this one is candy cane scented, actually, mini cone bag. Mmm, I don't know. Really doesn't smell like a candy cane, but it just has this little gold leaf in there, and then a whole bunch of little small pine cones. And, you know, you need these. You've got to have the pine cones when you're doing Christmas decorations. So I'll probably add a little bit of white paint to the edge of those to decorate them up. But yeah, they don't, what is it saying here? Sorry. Candy, yeah, it's candy cane scented mini cone bag. Yeah, I don't smell much of anything. It has a smell to it, but it doesn't smell like a candy cane if you ask me. All right, now the last things I got here, I picked up two more of the wooden spoons. These are my favorite size wooden spoons and these are like the bamboo wooden spoons and these yeah like I said are my favorite size of these I have some other ones that are bigger that just splashes stuff all over when I use them so I really like these a lot they last for like ever unless you have parrots and they get a hold of one of them and they can kind of rip those apart in a couple minutes because it has happened <laughs> but anyway yeah these are just bamboo spoons they're calling them and it's just, you get, get one, but I like these a lot. And, you know, like now when all the baking stuff is happening, pretty much the only time of year I do a lot of baking, um, these come in really, really handy. All right, so I will clean up this mess here and put all my goodies away, and I will bring in little P so he can say hi to everybody. All right, here comes little P. He was just in my husband's office over there. He was playing a game on the computer, and he was laying right in front of him just getting little head scratches. So I wasn't sure he was even going to want to come because he was all nice and relaxed and sleepy in there, huh? I know. Stretch it out, P. Oh, my goodness. You were getting the best head scratches ever, huh? Well, say hi to everybody. Come on over here a little bit. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, I know. You see that I have this. Come here. I'll give it to you. You see, I could brought him a piece of yucca wood, and he saw it in my hand. Kind of one-track mind, huh? Oh, the yucca wood. Yay! Was you in there helping Daddy play his game on the computer? Huh? He's definitely a daddy's boy, that's for sure. That's your favorite person, huh? Say, yep. 
say yep because he gives me goodies and things I'm not supposed to eat but it's good <laughs> huh. oh my oh, I wasn't sure he was even gonna play with that he was so sleepy looking in there just laying pretty much flat <laughs> laying flat to the table letting my husband scratch his little head huh Go, Pete, go. You got blueberries all over your feathers. Oh, no, I know what that is. When I was cutting up the fruit this morning, I got a pomegranate, and he was going to town ripping the seeds out of that, and I see it's all over his feathers here on the side. I'm not taking it. Did you get it on my finger, too? No, you scratched my finger. Look at that. Those nails are yours. We've got to get those done this week. Yeah, we do. They're like little razor blades. I know I keep saying that, but oh, I hate doing it. <laughs> but we gotta do it. Right, P? Right. You tell everybody. You tell everybody have a wonderful Thanksgiving if we don't. Well, you won't see everybody again until after Thanksgiving when we do our Friday haul. Huh. What do you want for Thanksgiving dinner, Pay? You gonna eat some turkey? A little bit? It's like, I don't know, just give me some yucca wood. <laughs> you are just busy, busy boy. Chewy. Chewy's having a pretty decent sale on bird toys this week, getting ready for Black Friday sales, I guess. So I order we ordered all the Christmas presents that Santa's gonna bring, huh? All the birdie toys. Yeah. You gotta wait for them good sales, P. Because those toys are expensive. Oh, this I dropped on the floor. This I picked up at Dollar Tree. I do have one more thing here. I must have knocked it out of the thing. Was this little pink and white fat quarter fabric. I just thought that was real pretty. I want to put this away for like, I don't know, in the springtime. I thought that would be nice. I figured by then I'll never find them again. So I just grabbed one of these. And um, yeah, they're 18 by 21 inches. So, and it's a nice cotton fabric. Yeah, I must have dropped it. I was actually almost stepping on top of it. <laughs> Well, that is the last thing, then, that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Are you done with that? You're really cheaping out here with these big pieces. Do you want the rest of this? No. Time to fix the feathers. Yeah, look at your toenails. Look at those little razor blades. That's what just got my finger. Yeah, you did. You got me, P. You say, not my fault. Look, you have pomegranate all over your feathers by your mouth. You're all sticky. Where are we going? No, there's nothing down there on the floor for you. Get back up here. People want to see you. They can't all they're seeing is your butt feathers. Here, we'll throw the pen over there. Look. What do you have? Ugh, he pulled the eraser out of my mechanical pencil thing here. Oh, you're such a pride. His job in life is just to destroy. Now what'd you find? Come on over here. People are looking at your butt feathers. Here, let's put all this stuff over here more. What else we got you can get in trouble with? We'll throw that back over there. Are you gonna go get it again? Yeah, he's like, let's see. What can I pull apart? Oh yeah, there it is. Let's just rip that out of there. No? No, oh, don't bite the lid off the pencil. There you. there you go. You can pull that out. You're going to get mad at me in a minute because I'm going to have to take that from you. There you go. Do your thing with the pen. No? You're more interested in the eraser. You know, pull it out of your... There you go. Now you're happy. No, you can't have the other end of that. I'm sorry. You can't 
be chewing on the lead part of the pencil. Sorry, kid. This is why you're not allowed in here that much. Come back, back over here. Go get it. Finish destroying my pen. No, let's not rip the book apart. Come here. No, there's something else you've got your eye on. No, we're not. No, 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 no. We're going to get in trouble. I know you're going to get mad at me, but you can't play with the glues and stuff either. Sorry. You can't. You can't do it. Here, do you want not want to finish up your yucca wood? Look at you, dusty thing. That's because you were getting your feathers all scratched this morning. You're all dusty. He is so nosy. He's looking down the little crack behind my table here. I'm looking down on the floor to see what's down there. Anything good? No? Maybe down there? No? You can't go over by the paints and the glues. All right, you, come on. Let's go back over here. Say bye-byes to everybody. Tell everybody have a wonderful Thanksgiving and get you out of here before you get in trouble. All right. Well, happy Thanksgiving, guys, if I don't see you before then. And we will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Say bye, Pay.